Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. And today, it's a one year celebration. <laughs> I'm celebrating my first year on YouTube. You guys, it has been such a blast. Look at all these videos I have been making. My goodness. Wow, I must have been very blessed with a lot of crafty time this past year. I look back on these videos and I'm just like, wow, give thanks because look at what you were able to do, you know, um, all the time spent making cards and journals and doing what you love. What a gift and a blessing in my life. I'm so grateful. So this little checkpoint is just to celebrate the three C's for me, which is creating community and connection, which is what I feel like YouTube is all about for my channel. So this video is not all about me, but it's all about us. It's about our connection and community and our craft and card making. <laughs> and paper crafting. So you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say that I'm honored tremendously that you spend your time with me. So today it's not a tutorial or really a process video, but I am going to be using this book. This is from Project 39 Mini Albums. Debbie sent it with my order as a gift. It's very special. And it's the bones of a, of a mini album. And I'm going to take this doodle bug collection that I've been saving this cherry tape, which is mind blowingly good. And I'm going to make an album for all the cards you guys sent me this. Don't use this tape. This is from the Dollar Tree. Now you guys know I love me some Dollar Tree, but not that tape will not work for this project. <laughs> so I just want to tell you that. Um, so here are the odds and ends and phrases and all the things that I'm going to use to decorate this album. This album is going to be filled with the cards you guys have sent me in the happy mail. My PO box is always in my about section. If you want to send me a card, I'd love to send you one back. And so, yeah, I'm just going to work on this album. I've never done this before, but you know, I've made lots of books and things. So I'm just going to jump right in. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, I'm going to chat with y'all about my first year on YouTube because it's been a blessing and an honor. And each one of you are a part of that. And I want to thank you. So, you know, I started because I really wanted to connect with people. I wanted to really be a part of the community. I had been a viewer of card making and paper crafting YouTube videos for years. I had been quietly crafting in my craft room for five years. And I was like, you know what? My husband had kept telling me like, please start a YouTube channel. Like you should do it, do it. And he bought me equipment and he was so encouraging. And it still took me until 2020 to do it but I have to thank him. He has supported me. I, I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't have that kind of support and encouragement in my home and from my partner. But you guys are a part of it too. If you weren't watching, clicking, commenting, and for my silent viewers, it's okay. Like you don't have to comment. Just by clicking, I see your support. When you hit that like button, I know that I'm in the right place, right? That I am this is time well spent. So my first year has been dynamic, absolutely dynamic. When I went back and I journaled about my first year, um, I'm kind of blown away. Um, there are times where I've wondered like if this is how I should spend so much of my time, um, you know, and could I be doing something else? Should I be doing something else? You know, these questions. But then I look back at this year and I'm like, no, I think this is where I'm supposed to be for a little while at least. <laughs> look at all these lovely cards. These are all from you guys. Big heart hugs. 
I love all of these. I treasure everything you send me and it's going in a book. So letters and all. So, okay. I started in June of 2020 at the very end and I didn't tell anyone. It's kind of my little secret for like a month and a half, just so I could figure out how to edit videos, how I wanted things to flow, content, figure out YouTube. So I kind of just kept it my little secret. And then in August of 2020, I was like, okay, I guess I'll tell some people because I'm going to do this thing. <laughs> I actually like editing videos. Who knew? <laughs> and um, yeah, so I reached out to Jamie at Not Too Shabby because I was placing an order and I just love shopping with her and I had to tell her I was excited and she gave me so much encouragement and information and she put me onto a Facebook group. I then got onto a design team with 35 people, with 35 subscribers to my channel, which was amazing. Monica at Taylor Made Cards for You gave me a chance, which was so sweet. And I had a great time. So that was from October to December of 2020. And, um, you know, I've just been sharing what I love. And now I'm kind of, I feel like on my personal dream teams of Scrappy Tells, Not Too Shabby, and Call Me Crafty Owl, I was blown away and honored to be asked to join these teams, but there are three women that I adore for lots of reasons. One, their crafty ability, their their um, contribution to our hobby, and I knew from being their customer how amazing they were, and I knew I could recommend them to you guys. And then Call Me Crafty Owl is not, you know, she's not selling anything but like just to be on a creative team, like just, it was just perfect. So I'm so honored to be where I am now a year later. And I definitely don't take it for granted. I just feel incredibly blessed. And I feel so blessed for all of the friends I've made along the way. You guys, when I get your cards and your letters and your comments, and I just see, wow, people are watching my channel. Like it's, it's sweet and it's special and I'm grateful for everything. And I just want you guys to know that, um, it makes my heart big and full and it, it just means so much to me. So thank you guys. And like I said, even to my silent viewers, you still click and you watch my channel and you spend your time with me and I see you. I'm glad you're here. So, so glad. Um, I've made so many crafty friends this year. And so, you know, with my intention setting out to have community and have connection, it's happened. Um, I met Helen at, um, crafty mama diaries. She's my crafty BFF. We talk on the phone, we hang out, not in person yet, but maybe one day, well, definitely one day we'll hang out. But like, um, Mary Gunn, which I found through Helen. And then I found Cra Call Me Crafty Out through Mary Gunn. And, you know, that's the connection. That's the community. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I just feel, you know, in retrospect, and in the day, in my daily life, incredibly blessed by this. And I want y'all all to know that. Um, so you're a part of it. And I want to thank you. Uh, I wish I could give y'all all hugs, big squishy hugs, but know that I'm sending them and they're wrapped up in this video. So, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, plans for this next year, honestly, I kind of have a dream. So, um, Mary S in Indiana sent me, she sends me happy mail quite often. And I try to always send it stuff back. And she was like, I wish we could meet. And I was like, me too. I would love to meet all you guys in person. 
And she's like, have you ever heard of the whatever house? And I looked it up and I was like, holy cow, this place is amazing. So I kind of have a dream I'm cooking up in my head about me and a few creators that are my crafty friends here on YouTube and us like putting on a retreat there one day. So that's kind of what I'm dreaming up, but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing for now. <laughs> Here's my book, my book of treasured gems, all these paper gems. That first one was from Tina at Tiaz's Treasures. So this first two pages is a lot of Tina. This is Tina. That scripty thing, brush lettering was from Mary S. This is from Sandra or Sandy, and I loved all of these cards. Look at that paper trimmer and pattern paper ephemera. Oh my goodness. Um, this is Mary S. This is an ATC she sent me. And I do have an Instagram, you guys. And I do put different stuff on there. So, um, you know, you'll have to check me out there if you're on Instagram. This is from Tina. This is from Mary S. I mean, just amazing, amazing cards you guys absolutely lovely mary s now the center card is miss lisa d lisa shout out you have been with me since i had 20 subscribers you have supported me for a full year thank you <laughs> you're amazing i love you and uh in these pockets i'm putting letters so sometimes i get really sweet letters this is from another sweet mary of mine up in oregon and I adore her. And then that funny card is from Ink Road Stamps. This is from Grandma Gay. My grandmas are in heaven. So she's my crafty grandma. And I love Grandma Gay. This is from my crafty BFF, Helen. And it's so funny that she writes on post-its. It's like, who do you think I'm going to give these away? No way. <laughs> now, she did send me a big, awesome box for donations. And I gave those away. But these are mine. <laughs> you guys, if you send me a card, I'm keeping it. Unless you tell me to donate it, I'm keeping it. Um, I do a lot of donations and I love donating cards. But these I consider little treasures. This is from Megan up in Oregon. This is from TR's Place. She has just started a YouTube channel too. This is from Eileen. I know who these are from because I love y'all and I love what you make. I don't have to write it down. I already know. This is from Heather. My girl, Heather H. This is from Mary C. I know who sent me these things. This is TR's place. Now, we're team yellow. She, her favorite color is yellow. My favorite color is yellow. I also love the color rainbow. <laughs> this is Mary, Mary. And I loved this card so much. She put stickers for my kids in it and jokes. And it was perfect. This is from a sweet friend in Arkansas. She's actually an Etsy customer of mine. And then I've got letters in here that warm my heart. Lots of blank space for the cards that are hanging up on my wall right now. And I knew there would be some in my, my mailbox. This is from Call Me Crafty Owl. I had birthday cards. See, that's what I'm talking about. Community, connection, creativity. That's what I'm about. I'm so glad you guys are here. You are my sweet friends. I'm so honored to have this big alligator mouth album. It sits on my shelf and I think of you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here. I'll see you next time. Bye.